Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a weekly reading for the fire signs that is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. These messages are for April 4th through April 10th. They're general, they will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So let's jump right into your reading and see what messages Spirit has for you. So Spirit, what messages do you have for the fire signs? Okay. I have door to value. Okay, fire signs. So some of you are going to be seeing an increase in your income. I heard a settlement. Some of you are going to be getting a settlement this week some type of payout i heard a raise some of you are going to be getting a raise on your job yes an increase in salary that's what spirit says spirit says a promotion others of you are going to be getting a promotion i heard investment Some of you are going to be investing into something or this may be an investment that you made in the past that is finally going to be paying off. You're going to start accumulating revenue from this investment. I also heard loan. In house, others of you may be getting approved for a house loan this week. So let's get some more messages. Okay. I have appreciation. Someone is finally going to be recognizing your work. Seeing your true beauty. Yes, spirit says work. This person finally sees your word. I heard past. For some of you, this is someone from your past. A past connection. Spirit says you don't miss your water until your well runs dry. Yes, this person is starting to miss you. They now understand that you are quality. That you brought a lot to their life. How genuine and caring you were. I heard regret. This person is living in regret for how they have treated you. I heard reach out. This week, this person is going to try to reach out to you. I heard social media. This person is going to try to reach out through to you through social media. But I see that you moved on. You're no longer worried about this person. You're focused on yourself. Some of you are already in a new relationship. I heard turn down, reject. You will be rejecting this person. I have community. Others of you are going to be celebrating with friends this week. I heard wedding. Some of you may be attending a wedding this week, a party, some type of gathering, a reception. Spirit says have fun. 
Spirit wants you to have fun, to enjoy yourself, to have a good time. I heard long lost. For some of you, a childhood friend or someone who you became friends with in high school or college, they're going to be reaching out to you this week. You and this person, I heard go out. You're going to end up going out, reminiscing, enjoying each other's company. I heard past. For some of you, there are going to be a lot of people from your past returning, whether this is a past relationship, old friends. But this week is going to be about your past coming back. Some of it you're going to welcome, while other people, not so much. Walking away. Spirit says job. Some of you are going to be walking away from a job. You want to invest full time into an endeavor. I heard decision. You're going to be making a decision to walk away from a job. I'm just getting the two of wands. It's like one of the wands is your job and the other wand where he's holding the earth is your purpose, is your endeavor, your business. That is what you want to invest into. That is what you feel is going to offer you more. It's going to give you that abundance and success that you're seeking. I feel like she's looking back, but she's looking back at what she's leaving behind with content. She's not sad about moving on because she knows that what's before her is better, is greater than what she's actually leaving. And that is how some of you feel. It's like, yes, I'm walking away, but what is before me is greater than what I'm letting go of. So let's pull some self-care messages. Okay. I have nourish your temple. Okay, fire signs. So your, your self-care message is to nourish your temple, nourish your body. Eating healthy, detoxing, fasting, meditating. For some of you, I heard praying. It's like whatever you do to... Make sure that you are aligned mentally, physically, emotionally. This is the week to do it. Spirit says reconnect with yourself. Some of you have stopped doing certain things that brings you nourishment. That helps you remain balanced. I heard busy. Because you're busy working, taking care of everything and everyone else except for yourself. So Spirit wants you to focus on yourself this week. Nourish yourself. Do what is going to bring you back into alignment. Meditate. Alone time. Yes. And it goes right with Nourish Your Temple. It's like you need to focus on yourself this week, Fire Signs. Some of you need some alone time. Take time for yourself. Read a book. Sit alone in nature. Get some quiet time to really collect your thoughts. So that you can rebuild your energy, re-energize. The last message is connect with your womb. Your 
your womb is about reproduction it's about growth it is about creation connect with your womb connect with your creativity and just going back to walk away it's like some of you are walking away in order to focus on some type of project some type of endeavor and it's like yes this week is about connecting with your creativity being able to produce is like connect with your sacral chakra this week do some sacral chakra meditations that's really going to help you so let's pull one final message we're going to pull the spirit animal I have frog Spirit wants you to be in the spirit of the frog this week, fire signs. Prosperity. It says, let go of the past and embrace change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune await you. Yes. Prosperity. It says, let go. Yes, let go of whatever is not serving you, fire signs. Embrace change. Embrace new opportunities. Walking away is all about change. It's like, no. You don't know what's before you. But you're walking away with hope. You're walking away with faith. You know that in order to get to the next chapter, you have to be willing to leave things behind. Even when you can't see your way. You know that a path has already been laid before you. So it's like, yes, embrace change. Wake up with joy. Wake up with happiness, with peace. Knowing that everything that you've ever wanted for your life is yours. As long as you're willing to take the journey. So I hope that these messages resonate. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone have a blessed week.